Well, thank you, Michaela. Good day. I'm very excited to talk about a new product from Belimo. Good day. I'm very excited to talk about a new product from Belimo, the new PR assembly. For today's agenda, we're going to talk about what's been going on in the HVAC industry, or what hasn't been going on as it relates to butterfly valves. We're going to talk about the new Blimo, Blimo uh, assembly with the features and benefits, go over the product range, and have a Q&A session at the end. Okay, problem. Basically, the butterfly valve has existed for eons. We use an industrial actuator, basically use some linkage, put it together, and you have your butterfly assembly. It's not always a good fit. Run times are not always what you want. Mostly they're too fast because that's what is in the industrial um, butterfly valve actuator. There's no fail safe above four inch. They're not always reliable. There's no position indicator, so when you got the valve 30 feet up in the air, you can't tell if the disc is open or not. And they're not really energy efficient. So what did Belimo do? Belimo created a new assembly, butterfly valve and actuator that work together. And with that, they are able to reduce the amount of energy needed, um, have adjustable run times, have a self-contained fail-safe option that makes it very contained and very economical, uh, innovative position indicator, a way to communicate through NFC or near field communication. We've included BACnet, integrated switches, have an HOA, and use brushless DC motors to make what is the most advanced butterfly assembly in the market today. How do we go about this? About four years ago, myself and a couple other PMs from um, Europe and Asia went out and visited end users, architects, control contractors, mechanicals, and asked where were your pain when it comes to butterfly valves. What did you like? What did you dislike? What do you want? Or what could you hope for for a new butterfly assembly? And with that information, we came up with a valve and actuator that are actually optimized to work together with each other. And with this, we're able to use um, an actuator that is smaller in torque size to put on a larger valve. We've also created the actuator with smarts so it knows where it is and it self-adjusts over the life of the valve and the actuator for zero leakage. It's the first time Belimo developed the butterfly valve and actuator that is optimized for the HVC applications. So, after we visited all, all the customers, what did we come up with? One of the first things they said is they want it easy co to connect. So there's only two bolts that connect the valve to the actuator. You see the one in the front, and there's another one in the back. This also allows us to give us a thermal block to block the heat or the cold coming up through the shaft of the butterfly valve so it, it doesn't affect the actuator. This increases the life of the actuator and it also has an added benefit of it puts it above the insulation so it's easier to remove. One of the biggest requests from our customers was to reduce the weight of it. Nobody likes to carry 50 pounds up a ladder and then try to install it onto a valve 20 feet in the air. So what we did is on the left you'll see our existing SY4 which weighs about 50 pounds. And the new one, the PR, in the middle weighs now 16.5 pounds. It's also much smaller, 12.5 inches versus 6.6. .6. And it's also, you don't have to take the cover off it, which is another 8 inches. So you're saving roughly uh, over 18 inches in height from the ceiling. So you can make it more optimized to your building. The, the assembly on the right is the PKR, which is our fail-safe option, which I'll talk about later, but it will be available in April. It's only an inch and a half t taller than our PR, so it is also very low profile. 
Another big question was to reduce power. So what we did was is this new actuator, if you use 120 volts, uses 80% less power. If it's a 24 volt, it's over 90%. It's also a universal power supply, so it also can do 240, and that's somewhere around 82%. So you have one actuator that can handle all voltages, reducing the amount of um, pieces on the shelf and making it um, better overall usage of space and time. Also, with the lower consumption, you don't need as many transformers, so you have less space needed at the job site. You also um, lower wire costs because you don't need as a high power. The next thing was self-adjusting end stops. What the actuator will do is it knows where it is based on position and based on torque. As the resiliency butterfly gets older, it gets a little stiffer and you need a little bit more torque. So the, but the actuator will adjust itself to always give you 100% close off over the life of the butterfly valve. So no matter how old the butterfly valve is, the actuator will know where to go to give you a, a good close off. From this three-year endeavor to create this new assembly, we've come up with a few patents, uh, the way the valve and the actuator go together, the way the hand crank is detected for an HOA. We have a smart heater in it that only works when the actuator is not moving, therefore reducing power consumption. And we have a um, position indicator and the way we um, set up the valve itself were some other patents. How we did was is we actually sloped the liner of the valve itself. This way the disc only really hits the liner when it gets to the very center which allows us to use a smaller actuator and still keep our 200 PSI close off for the valve. What we found out is that conventional butterfly valves as they age, and in this graph we show after 1,000 cycles, the torque goes way up on a butterfly valve. And we were, we, when we tested it, we actually saw up to 300 uh, newton meters were needed for a 10-inch butterfly valve. Which, which means you have to use a much larger actuator because you want it to last the five years or longer, so you have to compensate for this higher torque. The new Belimo 10-inch butterfly valve is much better, and it always uses less than 160 newton meter, no matter through the whole life of, its, of the valve. And we've tested it, and we've gotten over 100,000 cycles on it, and we're still with the low torque for the valve opening and closing. Therefore, we could put a slightly smaller actuator on it, but the valve itself is guaranteed to be consistent through the life of the, the life of the valve. Another new point that we've come up with is we're using NFC or near field communication to communicate with the actuator. What it is, you take your Android smartphone, place it on top of the uh, actuator, and from that you'll be able to do programming. You'll be able to do diagnostics, self-test, and data uh, analyze the data. The screens you see will be available for the April release of the MFT versions. Right now, with the uh, on-off version, you're able to set the runtime and uh, runtime and change the name of the location. What's really nice about this is you don't need power to uh, program the actuator. What you can do is you put the phone on there with on your desk, see what the programming is, put it back on, um, change the programming, put it back on, have it download, and then when the power comes on, the actuator will get the new program and work. So you can program all your actuators on your truck, on your desk, anywhere, instead of being on top of a ladder trying to program it. It's safer, easier, quicker, and better. The position indicators uh, on all the uh, valves will clearly identify the position of the disc when you're 30 feet up in the air 
and in low light um, indications. We've also made it so that the stem or the inner part of the position indicator is a spring, so it'll bend. So if it comes across um, contact with something, it'll bend without breaking. So you have um, benefits in that. Also, it's meant for shipping purposes to make it easier and without any errors. The actuator itself, we made it for a NEMA 4X. Uh, the X stands for corrosion. We've also put a handle on it, but the handle allows you to easily handle it and move it around. You can also put up to a 10-inch butterfly valve on it and carry it that way. So rigging to move it up a couple of floors or into position, you can put your straps on there, no problem using the handle. also made it much easier for wiring. Right now you have four screws on the back of the component. The top comes off. It's connected by a lanyard so you can't lose it. You also have very easily marked um, terminal blocks uh, with, that are switch based, a uh, spring based, sorry, that you'll be able to hook up your auxiliary switches, your power, your back net, your MP bus, everything else. Simply laid out, easy to do, no problems. You also have four uh, grommets that you can connect for, so you can put your auxiliary switches separate from your power, separate from your control signal. Simple and easy to use. We also had a lot of uh, requests for a manual setting um, auxiliary switch. There are two in every PR. One is set at 10 degrees from close, S1. And the second one is programmable from 0 to 90. And when I say programmable, I mean it's done in the field. So you don't need any electronics or anything else. Simple way to do it. Basically, you take the hand crank from the side of the actuator, put it into the second position, move the actuator and the valve to the position that you want. You can notice that with the position indicator on the top of the actuator. Take the handle out put it into the first position, and then align the arrow that's in the handle on the, that's on the graphic on the top of the actuator to line up on the black line, and now you've set your auxiliary switch. Very simple. You don't need any special tools or anything, and normally can be done in under a minute. The covers for the two positions must be on to keep your NEMA 4 actuator um, rating, and then the hand crank will go on and can go on either side. Okay, to review the summaries of features, easy to install. Two bolts, very simple. Reduced weight, weight and height allows you to carry the actuator easier. Um, lower height means you can put it closer to the ceiling. You can angle it. And this is the first Bulimo actuator that can be mounted upside down for pneumatics and other applications, as long as it's in an inside environment. If it's in an outside environment, it can't be more than horizontal to the um, floor. 80% less power if it's 120 volts. It's 90% if it's 24 volts. You save transformers. You save um, energy. Win-win. Adjustable motor time. We found that you don't need the 16 or 17 seconds that most um, industrial actuators have. That a range of 30 to 120 is, is more than uh, satis satisfactory. And you avoid water hammer. We have two versions. We have a B and X version. The B version is defaulted at 35 seconds. X version from the factory you can get 35, 60, 90, or 120 seconds. The self-adjusting end stops allow for close off throughout the whole life of the valve. And zero leakage with a 200 PSI close off. We have a universal power supply, so anything between 24 and 240 um, AC or 24 to 25 DC. This allows you to have one actuator on the truck, on the shelf, 
the customer doesn't have to order, doesn't have to know the voltage. If they order the wrong voltage, it works for all of them. So it saves time and confusion. Near field communication allows for fast programming, commissioning. You could troubleshoot it. With it, you can um, move the actuator, play around with it, see what's going, see life cycles, everything you need to run your actuator and to troubleshoot it. What I'm showing in this picture is the fail-safe actuator that will be available in April. It's all self-contained using super caps. So you'll be able to set the fail-safe position. So if you need it 20% open so you don't starve the system, when the power fails, you can use that 20%. Also, we have what we call a bridge time that is set that is programmable from 0 to 10 seconds. So if you have brownouts, you're able to bridge that brownout before it goes to failure this way. You don't need a brownout and have the system starting to go in fail safe and then have the power come back on. Flexible position indicator. Again, you can see from a long distance above the floor. We also have a position indicator on the top of the actuator if it's below grade. So you can view it from the position of the valve um, from either position easily. Back that communication will be in the MFT versions and the fail-safe versions that are coming out in April. That's free of charge, no extra charge at all. And we've upped the warranty from two years to five years for any Blimo actuator and valve combination. Okay, for some of the points that I didn't hit, uh, we have uh, manual override, which is the switch, the hand crank that you put in it. When the hand crank is in there, it works as an HOA and will not, it will stop the control signal from controlling the actuator. This is for troubleshooting and for easy moving of the, of the disc. We also have two sensors that will be available for the um, MFT versions. They're 1,000 ohm platinum. They're available now um, for whatever uses for temperature readings if you just use for your back net so you can save a point on the back net system. We will offer the PR on everything from the 4 inch to the 10 inch. The 4, 5, and 6 for two way and three way will be on the HD valve, which we currently have, and the 8 and the 10 or the new L-series valve that will also have the two and three way. We've also added all this feature and functionality and we've reduced the price of the assembly. As you can see, it is now less for the 8 and the 10. It's also the same reduced cost for the 4, 5, and 6. We have support. We have on our Blimo um, website. We also have submittals. We have a brochure. Select Pro has his new assembly in there. We have a video which is on YouTube, and we also will be putting this valve on retrofits, on dampers, and other Blimo um, butterfly valves in in the first quarter of 2017. We also will. Put this on on air damper, on on dampers, and look to expand that way. At this point, I'm going to hand it over to Michaela for the question and answer period. Sure. Thank you so much, Kurt. Okay, so we have a couple of questions coming through. Um, for those of you who joined us maybe part way through the webinar. Um, we are going to do a question and answer session in which you'll type in your question in the question chat box. I will read it aloud and then Kurt will answer as best as possible. In the event we don't get to your question, you can always email us at mar uh, marketing at us.belimo.com. I also want to give you a friendly reminder that we do have some handouts that are available to be downloaded. Uh, it's the new brochure as well as some submittals. Okay, are you ready, Kurt? I am. Okay. Bring it on. Does it have a better max velocity rating than 12-inch FPS? 
No, we wanted to make it the same as our existing valve, so it will still be 12 feet per second. Okay. Um, what is the duty cycle? Good point. The duty cycle is now 100% on this actuator. So instead of having a 75% as with our existing, it's now 100% duty cycle, so you can run it all day long. Okay, this is a two-part question. Um, where can I buy this valve right now? And when can I buy this for an air damper application? You can buy the valve right now through Belimo or through any of your distributors or co uh, controls contractors. And we will have the linkage to have it so you can put it on dampers in the first quarter of 2017. When will NFC be available for Apple? What we're looking to do is have what's called a dongle. That it's basically a gateway that commute that um, communicate from the actuator to the dongle, the dongle to your iPhone. That should also be available in the first quarter of 2017. Can you still buy the SY, or will they be discontinued? Right now, you can buy the SY on our other butterfly valves and our other industrial ball valves. You cannot buy them on the resiliency for for two, uh, two inch up to 10 inch. Um, is NFC password protected? What if somebody with an NFC device messed up the pro programming? Well, it's just right now with our ZTH um, um, handheld device. You have to have the program. You have to be close to it. We thought about this, but we didn't think it was necessary at the time, so there's no password protection on it. Can we get it without aux switches? No, the aux switches or auxiliary switches are built in and they're just part of the uh, actuator. Okay, is it full wave or half wave rectified? I believe it is full wave. Okay, next question. Can you please, or statement, can you please clarify one more time about the upside down installation? Okay. If it's an indoor application, you can mount this actuator upside down. If it's an outdoor application, it can be no more than horizontal to the ground. So you can only go horizontal to the ground or upright. Okay, are there any plans for pipes larger than 10 inch? We will be going to the 12 inch probably in the next 6 to 12 months. And there are plans in the future to create a bigger version of this actuator to go up to 16 or maybe 18 inch. But that's a couple years in, in the making. Okay, if I have an old SY and want a PR, can I do that? You mean take the SY off and put the PR on? Yes. If it's if it's on a Belimo valve uh, and it's between four and six inch, yes, you can. If it's something else, you need to make sure that the torque is acceptable, and you would need to do a retrofit conversion for the linkage. Is this available on three-way valves? Yes, it is. Uh, four through ten inch on. Uh, Four through ten inch and three way valve. Um, okay, can a PR PRK be retrofitted to an old HD HDU? Yes, it can. For an HDU up to the eight inch, for the HD up to a six inch. Yes, it can. Um, minimum and maximum. What are the minimum and maximum rating for the aux switches? It's like the equivalent now, it's, it's, it goes from um, low current, low voltage, so it'll go from 24 volts and it'll go up to 240. The, the key point here is if your power for the actuator is 24, the aux switches have to be 24. If they're 120, they have to be 120. If they're 240, they have to be 240. So you have to keep the same voltage for the power as you do for the auxiliary switches. Okay, 
Um, another follow-up question, is the PR reverse compatible to replace an SY? It is on a 4, 5, and 6 on a Blemo um, valve. Does the SY have a two-year warranty? Yes, it does. And this has a five-year warranty. Okay. Let's see if there's any more questions. Oh, I have one question. Can the MFT version of the PR be programmed for on-off control? Yes, it can. I'm not sure why you'd want that, but yes, you can. <laughs> All right, it looks like we don't have any additional questions coming through, but as always, if something should pop in your head after the closing of this webinar, please feel free to email us at marketing at um, I want to thank you so much for attending today's webinar. It is our last webinar um, for the 2016 year, but stay tuned. We will have our uh, 2017 calendar posted sometime in January. Uh, Kurt, thank you so much for an excellent job, and um, everyone, thank you so much for participating in today's webinar. Have a great thank day. Thank you very much, Michaela. You're welcome. See you all soon.